Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be going over a book called The Boy Who Loved Batman by Michael E. Uslan. This is a fantastic book. For those who do not know, Michael Uslan is an executive producer on all the Batman films from Batman 1989 onward, even the animated series and the animated movies. This is a fantastic tale for Batman fans, for comic book fans, but for anyone, anyone who has goals, dreams, dreamers out there, this is a mandatory read. This is such an inspirational tale. This is a, a memoir by Michael Uslan. It goes from his childhood, how he first fell in love with comics, being born in New Jersey, going to Indiana University, to him being the professor of the first class over comic books, him working at DC Comics, and then ultimately his lifelong dream of presenting a dark and gritty Batman to audiences everywhere. And this is such an inspirational tale. I mean, seriously, if you're a Batman fan, comic book fan, or whatever, you're definitely going to love this book. This is one of the best memoirs I have read, and it's provided with some pictures from his life, whether it be like photographs or like comic books, different ideas, but it's fantastic. It's hardcover, and... I finally found this online. I've been searching for this book for a while. I've been wanting to read it. I just could never find it on my bookstore. And if I tried to find it online, it was sold out. So I finally found a copy at thriftbooks.com. Brand new, and it is fantastic. Such an inspirational tale. I mean, there's a lot of unsung heroes in the comic book industry and the film industry. But Michael Uslan should be thanked. He's responsible for... Batman the way it is. Without him, without his dreams and goals, we may not have the Batman we know today. And by that, I mean the Batman in film, Batman on film. It's all thanks to Michael Uslan. It was a 10-year journey from the late 70s on to 1989, but this is such an in-depth memoir from his childhood, like I said earlier, him collecting comic books, the importance of comic books, both the highs and lows of the comic book industry and Batman on film, even his own life. And it also shows us that sometimes life is not like a comic book, but then at other times it is like a comic book. And I love this. It's so in-depth. After uh, his teachings, it goes to him studying law, him getting married, having his children, the journey it took to present Batman on film, the studios that turned down a dark and gritty Batman, uh, hiring Tim Burton onward, the trials and tribulations that came with Batman on film, and then eventually onto the Dark Knight trilogy with Christopher Nolan. And this is written right after or during the Dark Knight Rises, so it doesn't cover BVS or some of the other Batman films. It only goes up to the Dark Knight Rises, but that's all it really needs to go up to, really. I mean, this is fantastic. There's so much here. It has him and his relationship to Benjamin Malinker, another producer who produced Ben Hur. He recently, sadly, passed away at 104, but oh my god, this is an amazing book. Like I said, for a Batman fan out there, comic book fans, whichever, I highly recommend this. I just wanted to bring this book to everybody's attention because I haven't seen many reviews over it. I've seen interviews, and you can check out Michael Uslan being interviewed with this book. Uh, he even mentioned some of the stuff in here on the Batman Anthology set on the special features. And it really is a deeper tale of what is your passion in life. If you find it, never let it go. Never give up. Always work towards that passion. Always have the goals in mind. There may be a couple of setbacks, things that make you feel like you're failing or holding you back, but really, it's aiding you to your ultimate goal, no matter how much patience it requires from you. Always follow your heart. Always follow your passions. And it's so great reading this story. It's so inspirational seeing how he took every chance in life and made something out of it. The different mentors who helped him. Him working at DC Comics right in the shadow. Batman. On to producing and using his law experience as a producer and getting uh, into the entertainment industry through that outlet. Getting his foot into the door. And this is such a great tale. He says this in the book, no bullshit, this is a true tale. And it's great for any young person out there, any person, no matter what age, this is an inspirational book. It really is. I mean, I might have to pit this up with Rebel Without a Crew for me as a filmmaker, but as a Batman fan and just all-around person who has goals, it's so inspiring reading this. And it, it being 
a memoir that's honest. You know, he was from New Jersey. He wasn't born into Hollywood. He couldn't buy his way into Hollywood. So it shows what it's like being an outsider, trying to make it into Hollywood in some capacity. And that's a tale that's not told very much. And I respect that book for this. So yeah, I give it an A+. I mean, I cannot recommend this book enough. If you have not read this as a Batman fan, please do so. This is required reading. I mean, they have some quotes from Mark Hamill here. An inspirational tale of how one individual, armed only with a lifelong desire of restoring dignity to his beloved Batman, can prevail against all odds and emerge triumphant, forever altering the pop culture landscape in the process. Informative, warmly witty, and deeply human. It should be required reading not just for comic book and movie fans like me, but for anyone looking for a concrete plan to make their own dreams come true. Then we have Stan Lee. Don't miss the spellbinding tale of one man who saw what Batman was and realized what he could become. See how Michael Uslan took a comic book hero and through the magic of motion pictures helped transform him into a worldwide icon. And then finally here from Dennis O'Neill, Michael Uslan went confidently in the direction of his dreams. As Henry David Thoreau suggested on the journey, helped redefine pop culture and confer respectability of a maligned art form. Mike's is a great American success story and The Boy Who Loved Batman is a terrific read. That's just some of the reviews on the back of this book, but yeah, this is truth, you know? And it shows us that sometimes life is like comic books. It shows the power of comic books. They're not just funny pages, you know? And also, it talks about his experiences at the first New York Comic Con. There's only like 200 people there. Uh, the first forms of cosplay, him trying to promote Batman. It was the first time a movie was announced at a comic convention. Now, that's standard practice for every blockbuster, whether it's a comic book film or not. Every summer, we're about to have Comic Con right now, so... It's just so great reading the story and seeing the background of the movies through the producer's eyes. We usually don't get to hear about the producers or other comic book artists, other creators. And it kind of brings a light to all the unsung heroes and to all the people who read comic books. You know, it shows you what can happen. And yeah, in a way, we all win with being fans of comics and Batman. Now in the world of pop culture, and you know, it's different than when Michael Uslan was growing up and even when I was growing up. You know, people were teased for reading comic books. Now it's a cool thing. So, yes, I definitely highly recommend this. This is such a fantastic read. Definitely check it out online or on Kindle, wherever available. I would purchase it. It's worth a buy. Definitely check it out. If you have checked out The Boy Who Loved Batman, let me know your thoughts on it. What do you think of the backstory? Michael Uslan is such an inspirational figure, and he's a hero. He may not have been the hero we deserve, but he's definitely the hero we needed in the Batman mythos, and he'll be long remembered, adding to the pop culture and the vast history of the Batman. And that's so great of him bringing back the darker character. Batman was laughed at, pal, zap, and wham, and he brought us the more darker Batman that Bob Kane and Bill Finger originally envisioned it to be. And it's such a fantastic story. Let me know your thoughts if you have read it. If you haven't, definitely check this out. Anyway, that's it for this video. Till next time.